Simba's Day of Courage, a Pride Lands adventure. In the vast and awe-inspiring Pride Lands, where the sun blazed like molten gold and the wind whispered tales of adventure, there lived a young lion named Simba. With his playful spirit and boundless energy, Simba roamed the savanna, eager to explore every nook and cranny. One sunny morning, as Simba bounded through the tall grass, he stumbled upon a hidden clearing. In the center stood an ancient baobab tree, its branches reaching up to the sky like a wise old sage. Simba had never seen anything like it. As Simba cautiously approached the tree, he heard a rustling sound. Out of the shadows emerged Rafiki, an enigmatic mandrel with a mischievous glint in his eyes. Rafiki was the keeper of the Pride Land's wisdom, and he had been observing Simba from afar. Rafiki greeted Simba with a warm smile. Ah, young Simba, he said, I have been expecting you. Today is the day of your courage. Simba's heart skipped a beat. He had heard tales of the day of courage, a day when young lions faced challenges to prove their bravery. Rafiki explained that Simba would face three trials, a test of strength, a test of wisdom, and a test of heart. Simba's eyes widened with determination. He knew that he had to prove himself worthy of being the future king of the Pride Lands. The first trial took Simba to a treacherous gorge where he had to leap across a raging river. The water churned and roared beneath him, but Simba summoned his courage and made the daring jump, landing safely on the other side. Next, Simba encountered a group of hostile baboons who challenged him to a battle of wits. Simba used his intelligence and quick thinking to outsmart the baboons, earning their respect and admiration. Finally, Simba faced the ultimate test of heart. He came across a herd of wildebeests stampeding through the savanna. Without hesitation, Simba put himself in harm's way to protect a young wildebeest that had fallen behind. His bravery and compassion moved the entire herd. As the sun began to set, Simba returned to Pride Rock, where he was greeted by his family and friends. They celebrated his triumph and acknowledged him as the rightful heir to the throne. Simba had proven his courage, wisdom, and heart, and he was ready to lead the Pride Lands into a new era of peace and prosperity. Oh,